Hello and welcome back to another learning video in engineering drawing. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw a cycloidal curve. Let's get started. The problem reads like this. A wheel of diameter 60 centimeters rolls on a straight horizontal road. Draw the locus of a point P on the periphery of the wheel for one complete revolution if P is initially on the road. First, with center O and radius equal to 30 centimeters, draw a circle. Now divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Each segment will measure 30 degrees since 360 divided by 12 equals 30. Mark the division points as 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Next, from point P prime, draw the baseline P prime to P double prime. Its length should be equal to the circumference of the generating circle and tangent to it at P prime. Since the wheel's diameter is 60 centimeters, the circumference will be 188 centimeters. Now, through points 1 and 11, draw a line parallel to the baseline. Similarly, through points 2 and 10, draw another parallel line. In the same way, draw parallels through the remaining division points. From the circle's center, C, draw a line parallel and equal to the baseline. This line will represent the locus of the wheel's center. Next, divide this locus line into 12 equal parts and name them C1, C2, C3, and so on. With C1 as the center and with radius equal to CP prime, which is 30 centimeters, draw an arc to cut the horizontal line through point 1. Mark the intersection as P1. From C2, draw another arc to cut the line through point 2 and label it P2. Continue this process using C3, C4, and the rest of the division points to locate P3, P4, P5, and so on, until you reach P11, and then P double prime. Finally, join P prime, P1, P2, P3, and the remaining points smoothly with a freehand curve. The resulting curve is the required cycloid. And that's it. We have successfully drawn a cycloidal curve. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math and engineering drawing tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.